Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the reason why you should not do nails in your bedroom. Now, if you're thinking about doing nails and you decide that this is the only place in your house that, that you have available to do nails, I'm going to give you some other options. And if there's no other place in the house but the bedroom, then so be it. You're going to go ahead and watch my other video. You decide to do nails in the bedroom, but that is the worst place you could do nails. So if you like videos like this, subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know if you've ever done nails in your bedroom or if that's the only place you have available all right so let's get into this video so i can tell you places in your home where you could do nails now this is not my favorite but if you really really want to do nails in your home and you cannot do it in your bedroom or any other room, I would suggest going to your laundry room. Sometimes people have a big space in their laundry room. That would be the best place to get some practice. Now, if you're taking customers to the house, I don't know how hot your laundry room is, but I would rather do it in the laundry room than anywhere else in the house. The reason why I would say that, if this is your only, only option, is because the acrylic smell. If you're doing it in a laundry room, you might have a door. If you have a door, you could put a fan and the air could go outside. Once the air go outside, then you'll be okay. Now, if your laundry room is really, really hot, then when you, what you wanna do is put up a fan and then let the air blow outside and keep that back door open, all right? Now, if you have no back door in the laundry room and you have no fan, then I would say do not do it in the laundry room. But if you have a back door and you have the space, then I would say go ahead and do it in the laundry room. Let that be your first choice. It's not in the house. It's not in the living room. It's nowhere else. It is in the back of the house or to the side of the house. And you more than likely have a door. Now, if you don't have a door, then I would say this is not a good place. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you another place that you could do it in your house. Now, the second place that you could choose to do nails in your home that will be good is the patio. The patio would be the perfect spot for you to do nails. But I know sometimes it depends on where you live, it's not okay. So if you live like in a residential area or one of them, um, you know, bougie areas where you just can't do this and that on your patio, then of course it's gonna be a problem. Sometimes homeowner association and all these people, they give you a hard time. So that might not be convenient. But if you live in an apartment where you have one of those enclosures, you know, like the little mosquito nets, uh, uh, that's what they call it the, the patio enclosure then the patio will be the perfect perfect place put your stuff out there you'll get some air coming in and you'll be all right what i did previously i was doing nails uh from my apartment i did it on the patio and i just kind of covered the mesh a little bit with like curtains and i just got some ottomans out there and i put up a little fan and the fan was actually blowing the air out more through the, the little mosquito net or whatever, whatever they call that, that black mesh thing, right? And I was good. I was good. I was making money and I was on my patio. So you definitely can do it on your patio. Now, if you have one of those balcony patios where no, it's not screened in, then you might have issues. But if, if you don't have any um, homeowner association and nobody bothering you, then yes, I would say go out there. The only thing you'd have to worry about is if it rains. If it rains, then you're going to have issues. So what you want to do is buy a tarp and you could just put over your nail table and that might work if it rains. But if you see like it's raining real hard, like it's by the storm, hurricane, take your stuff inside, put it to the corner, all right? Just don't do any nails in the house if you have a patio, all right? The patio would be the ideal place to do nails, all right? So let me tell you some more places. If you have a basement in your house, that is even perfect. I know in New York and a lot of other places, they have basements. Those basements are beautiful. Those basements, it might seem like, okay, you're storing stuff under there, but those basements can actually turn into rooms. Now, if you have the space available and it's not a room, that will be the perfect place for you to sit up a little nail table, get a light, get a fan, of course, right? And open that little window if you have one of those windows and you'll be fine. The basement will be the perfect, perfect, perfect place if you have a basement. Now, if you do not have a basement, then let's go to another place in the house. The next best place other than the basement, garage. Oh my goodness. If you have a garage, you are blessed. Unless your parents are parking their car inside the garage and they do not um, support your dream of being a nail tech, then of course the garage is not gonna work for you. So then we have to find another place in the house. 
But if you have a garage, that is the perfect setup. The only thing with the garage, the garage does not have a window, right? And with nails, the, the most, the number one thing with nails is a smell. All right, so the garage is good if you could open the garage door or you have some kind of door or you have a window. So in a garage situation, I would say get an air purifier. That's the best thing you're gonna get and get a fan. Now, what I would do, I would just make sure the garage door is not all the way down, but kind of like just a quarter way, you know? So when you open it up, just leave it a little quarter way because you don't want the whole entire street to see that you're doing nails, right? The only person should see that you're doing nails is the client and yourself because that will make the client feel uncomfortable unless it's a family member and they don't care, right? But the garage would be the ideal place. There's no window. So what you could do, like I said, just open up the garage door just a little bit, just a quarter way, and you could work your magic, all right? Just make sure you have a fan. And like I said, that window fan will work perfect if you get like a plug. Just make sure that the fan, the air is like going outside, right? Once you have some kind of way where the air is going outside, all that smell is going outside, then you're going to be good, all right? So now, if you do not have a garage, let me tell you another place you could do nails inside your home. All right, so this is the place you really don't want to do nails, but this will be an ideal place if you cannot do it in your bedroom. And I would rather do it in this place other than my bedroom, all right? Because your bedroom is, is dangerous to do nails in your bedroom. But we are gonna get to that in another video, all right? But in this video, I'm gonna tell you the next place in your house, okay? If you do not have a garage. The next place in your house that you could do some bomb ass nails is in your living room. I said it, your living room. I've done nails in my living room before. Um, when I had my small apartment, the reason why I did nails in my living room is because I had a big window. And most living rooms, they have windows. And the window is the key to your success, all right? Because that window, you could, all, you could always put a window fan and the air is going out. Now, if you live with your parents and they are like really, really strict and they don't want no nail stuff inside the living room because they have a posh living room, and um, you know, they got good furniture and all that stuff and your little nail table just ain't gonna work, then this option is not for you. But if you're living on your own and you're single or you're even married and it's okay for you to have your nails set up like that and you know, you're trying to do something with yourself, you're working from home, you got kids, then this is definitely an option for you. All right, we love the good furniture and stuff like that, but at the same time, you need income, right? You wanna depend on yourself. If you have a little skill, you got skills to pay the bills, then use it. All right, so this is an option that could work for you. I know when I did nails in my living room, I didn't have an issue. What I did, I got a little table and I put in a corner just like you would with a computer um, with a computer desk, something like that, right? If you have a computer desk, you can find place in your living room for it, right? So why not a nail table, right? Just make a nice little spot, real comfortable. And what you could do when you're done, you could throw something over it, right? So it's like in the corner or you could just put it in a way where it's kind of like, you know, put a put it behind some furnitures, you know, get creative, right? Just get really, really creative and just do do your thing. Just do your thing. All right. So if the living room's not gonna work for you, I'm gonna tell you another place that you could do nails inside your house. So if none of these places are available and you're like Jules, I'm out of space, okay? I, I live with my family. I'm I'm young, I'm in school, right? I can't go in the living room, the dining room, I ain't got no garage, none of this stuff, then guess what? Get a tent and go in your backyard. It's gonna be hot as hell outside, I can tell you that. But you can get a tent and you go in your backyard, right? You gotta make sure that the acrylic's not suffocating you, it's not suffocating the customers, and you know, just, just let them know. You know, if you're doing it in your backyard, you don't really have space, that means you're probably just starting out. And you do what you gotta do to you save enough money and you go rent your little space, all right? So that is the plan. You can do it in your backyard, put up a little tent. Now, if you do not have a house to where you have a backyard, then the next ideal thing is to get you a little storage space. Now, I don't wanna get into that in this video, but those are the places in your house that you could do nails, all right, but not your bedroom. So the next video, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I say not your bedroom, and if you are doing it in your bedroom, I'm gonna give you tips to help you be safe, all right? So thank you for watching The Business of Nails, Jules Nails, Body Girl Jules Nails. Subscribe, comment below, and let me know if you're doing nails from home and what room are you doing nails in and why you chose that room. All right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.